In the previous video, we saw how to prepare a solution to use in Ribbon Workbench. In this video, we will start using Ribbon Workbench. So, to start using Ribbon Workbench, click on Ribbon Workbench 2016 button, which is there, right above All Solutions. Let's wait for it to load up. Okay, so the first thing which we need to do is select the solution which you want to use. Okay, so I'm going to select the Ribbon Customization 29.6.2020. This is the solution which we just prepared. Just double click on it and wait for it to load up. So the first thing which I need to do is select the entity whose ribbon you want to modify. To do that, you see this entity drop down. In this, select the entity which you want to modify. In my case, it is account. So just click on it, click on account. Okay. And once you've done that, you will be presented with the accounts ribbons. Okay, so this is how a typical ribbon workbench screen looks like after you actually open the solution. Okay, so there are many different components. I'll start explaining each and every single one of them. There'll be three sets of ribbon which appears for each entity. One is the home tab, the subgrid tab and the form tab. So what is the home, MSCRM, home page, grid, account, main tab? So what is it? So every time you open the account entity, you will be presented with the default page. That is the home page. This is the home page for the account entity. Okay. So this home page will have a ribbon, which is this. Okay. All these buttons is part of the home page ribbon for the account entity and that is what you are seeing over here okay all this is part of the home page ribbon okay the next one is the form MSCRM form account main tab so what is this one so if you open a record let's say I open the Alpine ski house record so this is the form buttons okay so whatever this part of the form is the is represented by the form MSCRM form account main tab okay so the next one is the subgrid tab okay subgrid MSCRM subgrid account main tab so for this one I'm going to look at the uh, contacts subgrid tab okay I'll explain that reason in a second. So to do that, you just need to uh, click on the drop down next to entity and select contact. Okay. Now, any entity will have a set of relationships. Account has a one to end relationship with the contact entity. That is one account can have multiple contacts okay so if I click on related and click on contacts I can see all the contacts which is part of the account which is associated with that account so in this particular view you have a set of buttons which is there that is represented by the subgrid contact main tab that is this is the sorry this is the contacts subgrid tab okay this is not the accounts uh, subgrid tab this is this is the contacts subgrid tab so that is a three set of ribbons which we can customize Okay. 
Next, we need to choose between command bar, ribbon and tablet. So if you choose command bar, then that will be the presentation of the command bar throughout the application and for forms of entities that have the updated user experience. Next is ribbon. So if you're using list within Outlook client or for forms of entities that do not have the updated user experience, then choose the ribbon option. Next is the tablets. So Dynamics 365 for tablets presents commands in a manner optimized for touch experiences. So if you're using your mobile application, then you can choose this option. The commands will actually appear in the command bar at the bottom right of the screen, in the order from right to left. In the next video, we'll be looking at the toolbox, that is, the different types of buttons which is available for us to add.